first say I support France, and, and, uh, but uh, Messi is the name who comes up. I played in 2006 in a Champions League final against Barcelona. Messi was starting to play in the team. That's 2006. We are in 2022. That's 16 years later, and he's still in contest for being player of the tournament. So overall, we are all grateful for the pleasure he has given us uh, in these 16 years. Two players are under pressure to deliver the final and the special thing in the final, that is Mbappé on the French side and uh, Messi, certainly more than ever, uh, to deliver something special for Argentina. But in both teams, you have as well, uh, shows as well what the tournament can be. Two very influential, two very important players in both sides have been Giroud, who was not expected uh, to be there at the start of the tournament, and the other side, Alvarez, who as well made his position and, uh, uh, during the tournament. And uh, both of them have been very, very influential and certainly will have an important part to play, but they themselves maybe did not expect at the start of a competition to play in there. Griezmann has uh, been a very important player, maybe one of the uh, three or four best midfielders of this tournament. And uh, McAllister, I know him well because he plays in, uh, in England, has been as well very important, but I would say as well, Elzo Fernandez has been absolutely tremendous in the Argentinian team. They have a, a compact midfield that is a bit more narrow than the French midfield. And uh, I would say one of the keys for Argentina would be to transform the four against three midfielders in, uh, against France. The tournament uh, has shown that uh, the pressure on the teams is so high, and especially on Brazil. But even players with the experience of Thiago, of Neymar, uh, lost completely their way when they were one nil up and they just wanted to go through without playing anymore. And uh, that was for me one of the remarkable things at this tournament, the huge pressure it had on the way the team played in the last 10 minutes. Sometimes they refused completely to play and of course it's the best way to be punished.